But we may look back if Donald Trump loses a close election and say, how in the hell did you nominate the candidate that clearly, by all the polling and all the betting odds, had a worse chance of winning than Nikki Haley? That's really stupid. It is. Yeah, it is. But the answer is because the answer is, and I guess in a weird way, there's credit here for voters, is they wanted Trump more than they wanted to win. The, the, in other words, winning, yes, is important, but it was more about the cult of this man, right? That is what was important. That was the overriding thing is this is our guy. And, and so we don't care what the polling says. And also, I don't think they believed it. I don't think they believed the polling. I think they felt right. like Trump was going to be the person who was going who was going to win. And, and the, the party of Haley, that was the party of Dick Cheney. That was the party of Ronald Reagan. Th that's not this Republican Party. And that will be the interesting thing in the months after the election if Trump loses is Will and to what extent does the Republican Party revert back to what it was before? Or is it now permanently the MAGA party, even without Donald Trump? Is it a populist party that's pro-tariff and anti-immigrant and and non-intervention, non-interventionist in foreign policy? Is it did he change it forever? 